In this video, I'm going to show you my 11 week old jungle terrarium and I'm even going to be introducing a predator. It's almost been three months since I made this terrarium here on the channel. If you want to check that video out, there'll be a link at the top of the screen. It's grown in really well and most of the plants are thriving. My idea for this terrarium was to create a diverse jungle looking scape with a wide variety of plants that have different leaf shapes, growth habits and colours. I definitely think I achieved that and I've been really enjoying watching this terrarium mature. About a month into this terrarium's life, a couple small plants died which is completely normal considering how many plants I put inside this tank. However, instead of removing them, I left them for the springtails to take care of. This excess food has caused an explosion in their population. As you may or may not know, springtails are great at self-regulating their population depending on available food. So now they've consumed the dead plants and there's not as much food available, their population will naturally start to drop. But they'll also be serving as a great food source to our new inhabitant. When spinning the terrarium round, you can really get a good look at some of the root systems the plants have developed. This is just from 11 weeks of growth. I can also get a better look at some of the springtails hard at work. Before I can introduce the predator, I need to make sure that the terrarium is escape proof. There is the smallest of gaps on the front panel, but it pushes up against the tree fern panel so nothing can get down there. The DIY hinge covers up all the gaps along the top, so the only one I've got to worry about is this one here. To cover this up, I'm simply going to take some black filter foam and wedge it in the hole. It would super tight in there so nothing would be able to get through. Now it's finally time to introduce the predator I'm going to add to this terrarium. This is a brown centipede. It came in on some moss that I ordered online. It's pretty small at the moment, but it can grow up to 3cm in length. Now it's time to introduce the centipede to its new home. Give me some name suggestions in the comment section below and I'll pin my favourite one. It crawled off the leaf and down into the moss. It's nocturnal and it will spend most of its time hidden in the substrate and under the moss and plants. But it's got an unlimited food source in the form of hundreds of springtails and other microfauna living inside this tank. Hopefully I'll catch a glimpse of it here and there as this terrarium evolves even more. I hope you enjoyed this update and thank you for watching. 